All right, back and forth. Could do it. Exercise, TBH. Welcome to another video. I've been away for a bit. I've just not been posting or filming much because uh, my noggin's been all over the place. Don't fall in. That's not the way to go, is it? I'd be back to swear one if I fell in like <laughs> Noggin, I'd, impl I'd implode. That's it. Let's get clobber off and go and plunge the plum. We'll get him when he comes back in. So cold, mate. I'll take you with me with the GoPro. Cold up shins, like. Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brand new. Oh my god, let's get warmed up. I couldn't keep film rolling the whole time I was in there, but I was probably in there for about uh, an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 45. Just breathing. <laughs> Didn't even feel it. Feel it knob. I think my knob shrunk to about eight and a half inches or something. Something humiliating like that. <sighs> Mither Welly's gone, gone rogue. Let's go get a fire going, get digits warmed up, come on. Bush box XL, titanium, no less. Top five, easy top five, best. Bits of kit I've ever owned this. I absolutely love it. Um, I shall leave a link below to it if you want to check it out yourself. It's an amazing little uh, little stove. Got a cramp ball, King Alfred's cake, coal fungus, whatever you want to call it. If you're a regular watcher of the channel, you'll know all about these, or you know if you've dipped your toe into bushcraft. But for people who don't know, it's a fungus. It's a bracket fungus. Use SE3, get that on there. Even fluff it up a little bit if you need to. There you go, and then one, once you catch it with one, it's you're good to go there. There you go. There you go, look. And now we need flames, don't we? There we go, that's fire. Get sticks in. Come on, all right, digits back alive. I'll be honest with you, I'm probably gonna run out of light here and not be able to do another. It's gonna be another failed attempt, isn't it? <laughs> One for cutting room floor. Will they stay still? That wind's picking up, look. It's just an... Do you know what, mate? It's our graft. So I went away for a week in Tenerife with Fern and then I got back and I thought, oh, like a week's holiday, hiking, fresh air, that should sort nogging out, shouldn't it? But straight, like, Fern lives down south, I live up north. I went back home to north and just, head just crumbled in on itself. <laughs> I, I've been able to do anything. Anything. Just been like, pfft, forget it. I went out uh, to try and do a film. I, I went out to try and do some wild swimming. Cue clip. Oh, it's cold. Hello. Welcome to another video. I've come out to find this body of water that I've never swam in before and I thought, right, it's completely frozen over. <laughs> I can't get in. But, uh, <laughs> should we try and get in anyway? This time of year, my digits hurt. I know I keep banging on about it, but it gets worse every year, mate. Doing a bit. Oh, there's blokes up there, look now. There's dog walkers over there now, so I'm just going to look mental in, in speedos trying to break through this ice. I'm going to have to go somewhere else, aren't I? We can't do it. We can't do it. I'm trying my best. The only thing is, it's running out of light. No. It's absolutely solid. I can't get in. Just let me live. Let me just give you a Tenerife hiking video. I know a couple of people are like unsubscribed. 
said oh we're going to unsubscribe because it's not what we signed up for i like your channel i followed you for i followed you for years but the recent videos with like doing prickly pears and hiking and that like nah i'm off see you later mate don't let the doorknob hit you where the good lord split you because exactly what they said mate they've been following me for years so you've had years of me which is freezing my digits off and then I go and have a bit of sunshine with my girlfriend and do a hike and they're like, I'm off, can't handle this. He's having too, he's too happy. What do you want? <laughs> where's, where's, where's line like? You know what I mean? You'd rather just be uh, depressed, wouldn't you? And just getting pissed and falling in ice and that. Right, let's go try and find somewhere else that's not full of people and that you can actually get in, come on. So I did that, couldn't get me, couldn't get it together. Then I went out in van i have sat waiting to get it together and I just haven't been able to do out. Right, this is, I'm filming this on my phone. This is one of them times, I did a video, a couple of videos back where I spoke about sitting in my van and not being able to get out. How am I here? This is what I'm in. I've been sat here for ages like, I want to go, I've sat out to come and do a wild swim, like a dip, just because, sometimes it's the only thing I can think of to sort my head out. And it does, it sorts my head out and then but I'm just stuck in here. So I've put my phone on just to like hold myself accountable. I thought if I film myself on the phone just saying like, why can't I do it? And I'm, I'm even now I'm more likely to do it, aren't I? And I feel like I might. It's a false start, mate. New Year's Eve, false start. Can we start can we start in February, please? I'm even as I'm sat here, I feel like I feel very positive now i feel like i'm in a good space and you know i'm gonna put this out even if i lose my light or this fire goes out or whatever because i'm in a good space but man i am not been i am not been like i say i've had like not posted anything on instagram for about a month not been focusing on youtube not anything really not not doing anything really on internet because Noggin hasn't been there, I think a lot of people might want to know how I got out of it. And when I say it, what is it? What is it? What, well, it looks different to everyone, doesn't it? I mean, I'm so sure some people have it. And when I say it, it is um, mental issues. <laughs> you know, when circus starts going a little bit wild. Or not wild, when it just starts going... Just void the void, isn't it? The void. And it's, you know, I mean, there's different le levels of severity for it, I'm sure, for everyone, and everyone's is tailor made for their own personal noggin. But, um, yeah, man just looks like. I've all, got an hole in my kex, can you see out now? Um, man just looks like a mixture of frantic brain, like hyperactive brain, and then just void, not being able to do out, mate, not having any motivation to do anything, just. Um, bad thoughts in my head about everything and just no then just nothing just nothing like if someone was going to be like oh mate it's, you're going to I'm just going to chuck this I don't know just anything like oh there's a you know there's a nuclear bomb going to go off in your garden or whatever I'd just be like alright <laughs> nothing just void of any sort of emotion really and and then you just get you, you doubt yourself dirty you? and you're like oh fucking hell man how do you get out of it? Well, the thing is, it's not to forget that you're in it, that you've got it. And sometimes I'll be like, I feel good, I'm like, oh, I'm fixed. I'm going on holiday, I've got, you know, everything could be great in your life, you know. And everything is, I've got my health, a loving family, I've got a wonderful girlfriend, and you know, everything's good, and you can take your foot off, you can take your eye off the ball, and, and then it's like, it reminds you, it's like, oh, but don't forget, You've got an unstable brain. And then it's like, oh yeah, I remember. So you can't, it's like, you've got to always be, I've got to always be mindful of it. It's like the Hulk, I guess, you know, like Bruce Banner's got to always be mindful or he'll turn into Hulk. It's like that, but less powerful. <laughs> Instead of like a green superhero, it's more like a, just a gray void <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> the void. Carol Voiderman. And like let's let's just chat. Let's just chat about it. Like I say, man, it's been an ongoing battle for a for a while. 
with noodle. And uh, it sort of came to an head at last year, beginning of last year. And I, I lost my, I was like, head went completely. I was so out of shape, man. I got f I got all fat and out of shape. Q clip. That me. That's me just relaxed. <laughs> That's relaxed, look. Set of cans on me. Just chilling with kite out. Could it? It's not good enough. Let's sort it. And there it is. And that was it, man. I just got out of shape, but I managed to uh, to get myself back into shape and start doing like things that were good for me and that, and that got me on the right track. And I've done it again. When I felt myself slipping off and bad habits creeping in and things like that, I've pulled myself out of it and it ain't easy. And I know a lot of people talk about it, like mental health, especially men's mental health. It's something that I've tried to shed a light on for a long time. It's not just a recent thing. Uh, I remember years ago, I took a turnip camping. You might be wondering why I'm out camping with turnip face. Uh, to raise awareness for mental health. I didn't know what I was doing, but I just took a turnip camping. I started the show as your steak challenge, which went, which went viral. I'm gonna cook a steak. I'm gonna make it the best steak I possibly can. Hopefully I won't botch it, but if I do, that's life. And then I'm gonna tag three people. Just voice men's mental health. Just voice it, just say it. The reason I'm doing this is because of men's mental health. That will help. I promise you it will help. It shows you steak. It's not like shows you dick, is it? it shows you. Nah, if it was shows you pork, that might that sounds a little bit more like shows you dick, but I think shows you steak is a good one. Quite catchy, shows you steak. SOS, show on oh no, it isn't show us your S U Y S. Alright, forget that. I did the barefoot three peaks. Six peaks because I did the Yorkshire as well. You don't have to suffer on your own, you don't have to suffer in silence. I'll leave some numbers below to people that you can talk to if you want. I don't mind being an advocate for it or a spokesman and I don't mind doing these videos where I just speak candidly and honestly about about my my own experience with it um, and I know a lot of it is like it's kind of afforded to you in it I think that's maybe why everyone suffers because we just we're not living we're not living in harmony with without how we used to live back in the day and you know when it was just simply shelter feed yourself play and do all these things just geared up to make you feel a bit sad and a bit like wanting, like you're not you're not right. And I don't know. I just don't know, mate. So how do I get out of it? Well, wild swimming, like we've just done today, is a metaphor. I've been doing wild swimming for years and years, and it never really, I never really labelled it as something that would help my mental health. It was just something that connected me to nature. Or if I'd had a heavy one, I would go and just have a wild swim, just to blow the cobwebs of the day out. You know. Right, I'll take my stick so I can break through ice on my way in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, oh. oh. shit. Oh. No, I can't get out. <laughs> like I feel brand new now. I've got that tingling in my skin and I feel great and that's, that's amazing, but it symbolizes something more, especially in winter, because it symbolizes me overcoming something that I don't want to do, and it's a sign that I'm on the right track and my brain's there, because when I'm not on it and brain's not there, I will sit in my car or stand by the side at river or whatever, and I just won't do it. I won't want to do it. But when my noodle's right, like today, I'm just in there, and then I get out and I know that I've conquered something there. And I'll carry that on. I've booked to go tomorrow. I'm setting off for a multi-day hike in, in winter. It's going to be about between five and eight days it's going to take me. That's something that I wouldn't do without this inertia, without this, like, I've been going wild swimming, I've been walking, I've been doing everything off camera, just doing it for me. But it's not easy, and I've done, I don't have a magic, like, way to do it. And I, and I keep saying the same thing, but it's just little victories, man. And also, because we all work, don't we? It's, you can't just, you've got to get up, you've got to graft, you've got to make money, you've got to like, look after your family, look after your friends. It's a tough gig, then, you, then on top of all that, you're like, well, I've got to sort my noggin out. 
And so just every sort of time that I would get to myself, any me time or any what, yeah, any me time, I would just use it for myself. Do something nice for yourself. Just cook yourself a nice meal, healthy meal. Or go for a little walk. Just do something that's good for you each day and it builds, man. It's like, and at first it seems daunting and it is just that one little thing. Make your bed, brush your teeth, do a few sit-ups, uh, phone a, fr a friend or text a friend. All these little things, keep doing it, but make sure you do at least one thing every day. And it makes everything else easier and it builds up, builds up until you start becoming invincible again. And then I, when I'm in it, like now, I just feel invincible, like I could hike. I could just do anything now, I feel like. I, f I do feel invincible now. But it's been that, like, you've got to slowly put the layers of your armour back on, bit by bit. And it's not, a, it's not easy and it's not the same for everyone, but it's doable. And you, if you're watching this and you're in a rut and you're struggling or whatever, you can start now. Like, after this video, obviously, watch the video first, guys. But after this video, right now, you can just start now. Do something good, text someone, tell them something mint about them. Go for a run, cook yourself something nice. Look in the mirror and tell yourself something nice about yourself that you, that you respect about yourself and build on it. And we're just gonna build from there. And you've got it, mate, you've got this. You've got this. If I can do it, you can do it. We can do it. <laughs> anyway. So, right, let's make this hot chocolate. Anyway, I'm waffling on. I've got a deluxe hot chocolate, let's get into it. Are you watching? Come here. Sorry, waffling on too much, aren't I? Milk. We're going for a big whopper. Absolute whoppy, not chocolate, look. Any milk you like can be... Ah, oh, dirt. Yeah, I yeah, do. It can be... Plant milk, cow milk, don't matter. Come on, trivets. got actual chocolate mate, don't worry about it. In with the chocolate. Generous amounts, because we want to melt a lot in there look, that's a lot. We're making a mega one look. Wonderful. Honey, just a little bit. So you don't want to bring it to the boil, but you just want to melt that chocolate off. That's about there, look. That's about there. Without burning, mate. Is it going to burn me? Nah. We eat that. Off. Lid on to keep it warm. Get that toasting. <laughs> And then that goes in hot chocolate, doesn't it? Obvs. Look at that, man. Cheers. Good health. <laughs> that is good. Toasted marshmallow hot chocolate. You're welcome. That's too good. That should be illegal. Yeah, I just wanted to... Okay, now look at that. <laughs> Mint. Oh, it's good. It's a bit of a false start, but the real 2023 starts in February, doesn't it? Come on. A lot, a lot of solo trips planned. I'm off on one tomorrow for, it's going to be like six or seven days. I'll bring that to you. It'll be, it's going to be a tough one because it's winter, so I feel like I want a challenge. I feel like I want to be out of my comfort zone. And I've just got a lot of, a lot of stuff, man. Just a lot of solo stuff and me and Fern will be doing a few hikes together as well. I do appreciate everybody who has stuck with me and who is sticking with me and, and I send you nothing but the old L-O-V-E. Louvre. I send you nothing but Louvre. And speaking of love, I'll, this, is the, this is the one. Mm. Real chocolate mate, just get some real chocolate and just put it through cheese grater or whatever. With some warm milk, toast your cellar mallow, get it on there. 
and you live in La Vida Loca. I'll finish this up and uh, get me fire squared away. Oh, that's warmed me up that. I'm off on an adventure tomorrow, a big hike, and that's gonna be a series. So I think the next video that I drop on here will be the another hike from Tenerife. There we are, look at this. And it's just because the wind has just come up this valley and just whipped, whipped all these rocks over a long time, hundreds of years. I'm no geologist, I don't know. A long time, months. But I am back, I feel good now. So if you're struggling yourself, my advice to you is just little sort of little bite-sized pieces it's hard to look at the big picture sometimes but if you just zoom in you can make it a lot easier go for a walk go for a run just make your bed brush your teeth just little tiny things tell yourself that you're good enough oh man i feel like yes you are oh man what is it i'm either like Hiking and having like time with life and getting stuck in, or I'm having a like <laughs> existential crisis. <laughs> oh. See you later. Nah. <laughs> oh dear me. Tiny little steps, doing the right thing, making the right choices for you. Be selfish because no one else can benefit from you unless you're right yourself. And so do these little changes, just even if it's not massive, you might get home from work. And instead of just like sitting in your pit or wallowing or whatever it is, just do one little thing. Go for a run, go for a walk. It might just seem like something little, but the next day it'll be easier and the next day, and like, it's a long game, mate, this, all this nogging thing. It's a long game. And you can build your armor back up, get back out there and smash the living daylights out of it because we've only got one, haven't we? We've only got one, so let's make best of it. I would say it make best of it, I don't know what's going on. I'm just a bag of organs spinning around on this rock in the middle of nowhere. I've no, I've no idea. I only know what I know in my own noggin. And uh, I'm trying to get it across to try and help anyone else who's struggling a little bit. And just say what I did to get myself out of it. Because I'm out the other end now. And it's, it's only when you get out the other end that you realise how mullered you were when you were in it. When you are in the, like, in the zone. So it's important for me to to tell you while it's fresh in my brain of how I, how I dealt with it and what I felt like. And if anybody gets some out of this sort of video, then it's worth it for me. It's worth it because I know I, I scroll and I look for stuff on, on YouTube or search things that'll help me, just like motivation and, and whatever. And when I find it, it means a lot to me. Like if someone makes me laugh or if someone motivates me, it means a lot to me. And if, if, I, if I know that I can do that to someone else, then that's, that's my job done and I'm happy. Right, I'm off on a big hike tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Au revoir! Hey, he's coming back. Look at that. Eh? You know you're in a good place when you're doing them ones, aren't you? Them big walkbacks. Yeah! Woo! <sighs> See you later.